Good evening. So today, the Sunday after Pentecost, we celebrate the solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. So the mystery of the Holy, Holy Trinity is a central mystery of our faith. And the mystery of the Holy Trinity is the mystery of faith because we cannot comprehend this mystery by ourselves. And the mystery of the Holy Trinity reminds us of the mystery of one God in three persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So how do we know about the mystery of the Holy Trinity? So Jesus Christ himself reveals to each one of us that the most holy trinity is our final destination. The most holy trinity is our true home, as he says, I am going to prepare a place for you. So this place is our true home, where God is, where we belong. And in this place, we are united with God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Moreover, in the gospel, Jesus commanded his disciples to baptize people in the name of the Holy Trinity. He says, go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. That's why any time we come here to celebrate the solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity, we are invited to enter into the mystery of God, we are invited to share God's life. My dear friends, we profess the mystery of the Holy Trinity every day and everywhere. We profess the mystery of the Holy Trinity every time we make the sign of the cross. As we enter into the church today or any time, we bless ourselves with holy water in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit, or the Holy Mass always begins and ends with the sign of the cross. Or when we start to pray or finish praying, we always make the sign of the cross. Or when we enter or leave our home, we make the sign of the cross. Or when we are arriving on the road, we make the sign of the cross. Moreover, we profess the mystery of the Holy Trinity when we were baptized. The priest or deacon says, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Or we profess the mystery of the Holy Trinity when we pray every day, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as this in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. So the question for each one of us is, what is the meaning of the mystery of the Holy Trinity for each one of us? So the most Holy Trinity is considered as the model of our Christian families. Pope Francis says, the Most Holy Trinity is a communion of love, and the family is a reflection of the Most Holy Trinity. Actually, the Holy Trinity are united in love. The love of the Father, who is the foundation of the world and of all life. The love of the Son, who suffered and died for each one of us and for our salvation, the love of the Holy Spirit, who renewed the face of the earth and transforms our life. And likewise, we are created in love. Therefore, the family is an image of a loving communion of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. My dear friends, the Most Holy Trinity reminds each one of us that we are not to be alone in the world because we are created in an image and likeness of God. Therefore, we are created for community. 
So we have our parents, we have our children, we have our brothers and sisters in our family. That's why with the most holy trinity, with our family, we are better together. With our family, we are serving together. With our family, we are growing together. And with our family, we are forgiving one another. My dear friends, the Most Holy Trinity is a model in which everybody in the family is fully equal with their dignity and value. That's why we are called, we are invited to imitate the model of the Holy Trinity to respect one another, to treat one another as the gifts, as an image, as the likeness of God. And it's one of us is the temple of the Holy Spirit. It's one of us in the body of Christ. That's why with the model of the Holy Trinity, we accept one another, we comfort one another, we forgive one another, we encourage one another, and we grow together. My dear friends, the mystery of the Holy Trinity is also a mystery of unity in diversity. So the Most Holy Trinity reveals to its one of us about the distinction between God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. However, they exist in a perfect harmony and unity with one another. And the unity in diversity of the Holy Trinity is connected with the unity in diversity of the church and of our communities. And the church including many different families, many different cultures, many different nations, many different situations, many different educations is unified in one God through Jesus Christ and through the Holy Spirit. And likewise, we are different persons. We are different people with many various backgrounds, with many various opinions, with many various ideas, with many various educations. However, we are united in one faith, one baptism, one spirit, and the one God. My dear friends, the mystery of the Holy Trinity is not only a mystery, but it is also an invitation for each one of us to enter into the mystery of God, to part participate in God's life. That's why let us experience the mystery of the Holy Trinity by many ways. Let us experience the mystery of the Holy Trinity by love, loving God and loving one another. Let us experience the mystery of the Holy Trinity by making, making an encounter with God in a life of prayer and contemplation because the more we pray to God, the more we experience the mystery of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Also, let us experience the mystery of the Holy Trinity in the sacraments, especially in the Holy Eucharist, where we share God's life and where we, we become the body and blood of Jesus Christ. My dear friends, today, each one of us is invited to make the mystery of the Holy Trinity present every day in our hearts, every day in our family, and every day in our life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.